I said I was going to post a uh, video for the next five days on the little contest that SMP Films is having, but yeah, I kind of don't want them to get annoyed by me, so this is kind of an entry, but I'm not going to post it as a video response, just because, you know, I don't want them to stab me. I'm um, a very driven person. When I have the opportunity to learn something new, I learn it so that I can better myself, and once I would be done with those DVDs, I would give them to the next person who needed them. Yeah, I'm still at work. Um, I'm, this is actually a projection booth. If none of you guys have ever seen a projection booth, or if you've ever wondered, uh, in the next couple days here I'm going to uh, make a video showing how everything goes through. I'm going to give a little clip of what a projector looks like here in a minute. A lot of people have the idea that uh, movies in theaters are run off of DVDs or something like that. I don't know. They ask us to rewind movies. They're like, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? It's not that simple, okay? This is actually how a film has to go through the projector. Yeah, you have to take the film, which that's the film, that's an actual movie, that's Beowulf, actually. It has to go through all these little gids gidgets and gadgets right here. Through all these little gizmos. All the way back over here. And that's the actual movie that you watched. It is not a DVD. And if it was, that's a big-ass DVD. Two feet a second of film? Some movies can be up to a couple miles worth of film, so... I recommend you don't drop film. I'm not the happiest guy right now. My camera died while I was trying to film the booth. There's a lot of stuff I still wanted to say. I wanted to show you how movies get built on from these little tiny reels to these big old things that you saw already. And it's really annoying. But later on in the week I'm going to make a big video pretty much explaining a lot of stuff that you might not know. I just think it's kind of interesting. Maybe you guys will too. The reason why I was at work so late though is because uh, we just got to watch the Beowulf before it comes out and I thought it was rather good. Usually movies from books I don't find very entertaining at all because they change so much. They kept kind of close to the book but they changed a few subtle things. I don't want to ruin anything for you but if you haven't read the book it's a great book. It's a story about temptation, glory, heroism, and the sudden thirst for blood. Quite often. It's... okay, not really... Okay, maybe not exactly the thirst for blood, but... They do like to battle. It's all for glory. Like, they didn't do anything for money, they did it for... the stories that could be told later on for... generations and generations. And I'm babbling. And I really didn't want to do this. I wanted to do it at the theater. Alright, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.